Chelsea 6, Everton 0. What a fantastic victory. I'm celebrating with an ice cold cause. Cheers. Yeah, it was all about ice cold Palmer, wasn't it? I mean, Halland is now the joint top goal scorer along with Cole Palmer. Unbelievable. He's just a kid. He's only came in this season in a very young team and he's got 20 goals. I mean, it is unbelievable, isn't it? Or is it 21 goals now? I'm losing count because he's scored so many. He's been a breath of fresh air. He's everything that's great about this new Chelsea team. I mean, as I've said before, I think he's been carrying us for a lot of this season. Tonight's game, though, you can't really fault it, apart from the penalty, but I'll talk about that later. Um, I mean, the first goal from Palmer was genius, wasn't it? The way he showed great control, and then he just placed it in the corner, didn't he? It was wonderful. Another highlight of the evening has to be Alfie Gilchrist's goal. I mean, I loved that. It's great to see an academy player come through the ranks and to score a goal at Stamford Bridge. It's stuff of dreams, isn't it? If you're Alfie Gilchrist, he was looking for his family in the crowd, wasn't he? And I remember when me and my dad, we went to this John Terry event. My dad asked him, who's the top academy player going to be for Chelsea Football Club? And John Terry said, Alfie Gilchrist. So watch this space. Hopefully this is the start of many great things to come. Palmer, I mean, he is unbelievable. Without him, I don't know where we would be this season. He got four goals. And yeah, it would have been 1-0 without him tonight. Or rather, it would have been 2-0. Sorry, I've had a couple, as you can imagine. Um, but yeah, it was just so brilliant, wasn't it? And Palmer is a very special player. I'm hoping he's going to be our Kevin De Bruyne. You know, like um, we sold to Man City. We're hoping that anyway, aren't we? Cheers. Yeah, I mean... Fantastic. How can you not get excited about tonight's performance? And even after the game, I said this earlier on, I was like, is Pochettino going to say that Palmer is the penalty taker? Because that was ridiculous, wasn't it? That was absolutely ridiculous. The squabble in between Jackson and Manduki. Conor Gallagher did the right thing, though. As captain, he came in, he took the ball and he said, no, Palmer is the penalty taker. But to be honest, why didn't Pochettino nip this in the bud Ages ago, he was asked about it and he didn't confirm who the penalty taker was when he should have just said, Cole Palmer is our penalty taker. And I'm so delighted that he's done that now because it's it's nipped in the bud. We can move on. He's our penalty taker. And hopefully um, the petulant children like Jackson uh, will learn from this. Yeah, I mean, it's so disappointing, <laughs> that that aspect, because that goal from Jackson was wonderful, wasn't it? It was a great finish. It was a proper striker's goal. And then when we got the fifth to do that, it's just like, oh, really? Are you going to do that? Are you going to put me through that? I, I actually got angry when it was 5-0, and I was like, this is ridiculous. Who gets angry when the team's 5-0? But I was disappointed with that, if I'm honest. But Palmer has to be young player of the year. I think we'd just be above the relegation zone if he wasn't in our team. I think he's been that important, if I'm honest. It's been, tonight was the Cole Palmer show. Any other thing you read online tonight saying this is a, a masterclass from the manager or, yeah, all the players were fantastic. Mm, no, not for me. I think it was the Cole Palmer show, if I'm honest. Um, even to begin with, earlier on in the game, Gusto. He didn't have his best game. Honestly, he was giving the ball away. And I was like, no, because you're one of my favourite players in this new Chelsea team. He's one of the players that actually looks half decent. He looks good, in my opinion, Gusto. Um, people are raving about Casado. He played good. I wouldn't say he was incredible. I read things like that online and I'm like, oh, God, standards have really dropped. Palmer was incredible. Casado, he was good. He had a good game. But, you know, we've got to expect more of this. Now, hopefully we can go on a run. I believe the next game is the FA Cup semi-final against Man City. Yeah, it's going to be tough. But if we play like that, you never know. And we actually, more than anything, what I'm more delighted with than anything is actually keeping a clean sheet. I mean, I never thought we'd get a clean sheet ever again. You know, <laughs> I never thought we would. I thought if we conceded one goal, it would be like uh, conceding... Uh, none, because that's how poor we've been uh, defensively. But no, we didn't concede. There's nothing really to complain about apart from the piano, uh, the penalty fiasco, rather. I mean, that was completely ridiculous, wasn't it? At the end of the game, uh, one step beyond was played for about 30 seconds, and then they put that stupid freed from desire on 
They should play one step beyond full, and that's it. Just play one step beyond the full version. That's enough. We don't need this freed from desire nonsense. It was a great game to go to, actually. I'm really, I mean, I, I will always. Most of the time, I always go. Sometimes I don't because I've got commitments somewhere else or whatever, but it's rare. Uh, but tonight I went and I was sort of like, oh, can I be, you know, what's going to happen? But it was worth it. It was very, very much worth it tonight, wasn't it? Ice cold Palmer. He's so cool, isn't he? And I did like the interviews after the match, actually, with Palmer and Gilchrist. Palmer is just so cool in the interview. He's so laid back and... I think it's also because he came from such a big team, Man City, if you're honest about it. He is the one who said, when the reporter asked him, so uh, this was a great result tonight. He was like, yeah, but we need to be a lot more consistent. I believe he said that. So it shows you he, he's come from a top team, Man City. And he's the he's sort of the experienced player, isn't he? It's weird, isn't it? He's our best player. He's been at a top club. I mean, we are a top club, but we're, we're not recently, are we? If you're being honest about it. Um, so he's just been unbelievable. I I can't think of a better younger player I've seen play for Chelsea. I can't, honestly. Can you think of a better younger player? I think the only better younger player, but I never saw him play for Chelsea, was uh, Jimmy Greaves. Unbelievable. You know, we sold him to... AC Milan, and then he went to Spurs. I think when we sold him, uh, he scored three hat-tricks in a row before we sold him, but his goal record was phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. If you check it out, I can't think off the top of my head what it is, but unbelievable. With Palmer, we just got to hope he keeps it up, he keeps going. I mean, I would say he's done it single-handedly this year, and that is a real mean feat. I mean, it depends what way you look at it. Some people will be clinical, critical, and they'll say... He's looked so good because the team has been average. But the other side of the coin is he's been so amazing and we've been poor. So it depends. I, I imagine it's in the middle somewhere. But next season, if he gets, if he got 15 goals next season or 12 goals, you know, that would still be very good for the kind of player he is. But the fact that he's joint top goal scorer with Haaland, he's going for the golden boot. Unbelievable, isn't it? I mean, that's the thing. It's, it's more about, individuals isn't it sort of succeeding at the moment I mean that that penalty fiasco was very disappointing though um, I'm glad Pochettino has put it to bed I will give him credit for that you know I'm not a very big Pochettino fan never have been but for actually coming out and saying what he should have said ages ago he's finally done it so hopefully it's put to bed and we can move forward I mean it seems really crazy that a football team wouldn't have a penalty taker. You know, it's just, just mad, isn't it? We always had Frank Lampard, didn't we? We had uh, Dennis Wise, Frank LeBeouf. I'm sure years ago it was Kerry Dixon, etc. You should have a penalty taker. It, in that respect, it's not rocket science, is it? And then you wouldn't have the problem of people squabbling. Oh, who's going to take the penalty? Especially in a young team. It was Jackson and Manduke, wasn't it? Silver came over. But Gallagher, you have to give credit to Gallagher. Because he actually sorted it out. He got the ball off of uh, Manduke, I believe it was, or was it Jackson? I'm trying to remember now. I was at the match, so it's a bit... I haven't seen the highlights either, so when you're at the match, it's very different than when you watch it on the TV. You don't actually get everything, even though I think it's better if you go, um, but you don't necessarily see everything when you're at the match. It's impossible. But what a fantastic performance to beat the Scousers. Not Everton, but to beat... Uh, <laughs> not Liverpool, rather, but Everton, 6-0. Dream stuff, really, and... Palmer, he has to win Young Player of the Year, definitely. I mean, he's going to win Chelsea Player of the Year, without a doubt. But without him, God knows where we would be. Come on, Chelsea. We're going for that FA Cup semi-final next against Man City. You never know. We might have... I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say... I'm not going to say those three words. <laughs> you can tell I've had a couple because I had to work out it was three, three words. Turned a corner. Yeah. <laughs> I've had victory drinks. Cheers! Come on, Chelsea. Let's do this. We can finish in the top six. Yeah, win the FA Cup. Yeah. I've had a few, obviously. Yeah. 